Alright, as promised, I'm back. Again, I'm still kind of working with simple designs, cartoons, things of that nature. Till I really get back into the feel of this. i just like to say, by the way, just, you know, side note, um, for everybody who's just starting off airbrushing and trying to really, like, figure out what to do, don't be afraid to do something simple like this. Because the thing is, it's just like, with you not knowing how to do a simple design, you're not going to know how to do a complex design either. So, it's not really going to make a difference what you can or can't do if you can't do anything. Makes sense? Cool. Think about that one. Um, yeah. This is for my nephew's birthday. Um, Ninja Turtle fan. Except for the Michael Bay film, yeah, I said it bite me, you don't like it. I'm an avid Ninja Turtle fan. Very avid fan. Um, Michael Bay, thanks for ruining my childhood. I said it. I'm pretty sure it's other people who agree. Basics of all my designs. <laughs> Starting with the darks, the shadows, and then working your way into the mid-tones and the lights. Here... You're real limited with your color palette for greens and less you're mixing colors. Like I said, this was just something quick, so I didn't really want to sit down and get too detailed as far as making my own colors. So I just kind of went with what was already there. Um, this darkest green is the shadow. And now this solid green, yeah, I know, is not Mikey's color, but it's green and you get the point. Um, again, it's quick, simple, so I don't want to sit here and mix all day. And I'm doing this at like 6 in the morning. Not my cup of tea. Left a couple spaces for just like some little highlights. It wasn't really too much. This picture was more so fill and shadow versus actually having highlights too. Again, quick, simple design. So a lot of this you'll see is just kind of fill in work, which... You should also want to practice no as breeze. well. Being able to control your airbrush machine to get up to the line with solid color. And then in a couple instances, like I said, where I did have to do some fading and some shading. Being able to control getting up to that line and blending your colors out. And something else to practice. Then pretty much, I don't know. Nah, but yeah, like I said, it's a simple design, so the big thing is what a lot of people miss with your airbrush, what you don't understand is control, control, control. You need to figure out a comfortable way for you to hold your hands, a comfortable way for you to hold the machine, then you can go from there. What's the best way to fade? Here, if you see, I wrap my airbrush holes around my wrist. I have times where that works easy as far as keeping the cord out of the way. So, hey, if that works for you, you know, your cord is dangling. Um, I have a moisture trap on mine. That's what mainly does it, and it hits the side of my easel. So I wrap it around my hand to keep it from hitting my easel. Find a good way. Then I hold mine with two hands. Uh, pause. Some people, you know, they want to hold their airbrush machine with one hand. Yeah. If it works for you, it works. But the big thing is finding a comfortable way for you to actually airbrush. Then you can sit here and worry about everything else and all the little particulars. Now I'm finishing in with more shadow, more shadow, more shadow. This was just a standard brown um, by this certain company. And this was just pretty much filling. Um, the only things that I mixed were like my lighter brown and then my darker orange. They weren't a real good yeah, color, I guess you'd want to say. I ain't want what I was looking for here. You'll see it. this is my lighter brown that I mixed up and I'm going in with. Lighter brown, I mixed brown and yellow. Darker orange, I mixed orange and brown. Simple color theory. Yeah, got me. Cool. And it's finishing up with the, I never knew what to call this. I guess you'd say the ninja gear. Yeah, as far as like the elbow pads, the knee pads, and the belt. Uh, I don't know if there's a real technical name for it. So, yeah, it's just going to be called the ninja gear. Um, interestingly enough, 
up until recent years, I never knew he had blue eyes. So, you know, dark blues, light blues, left a spot for the white highlights. Um, I didn't spray this as I normally would in because it's, you know, like a cartoon simply designed. So I just left it a open circle. Camera died, but, you know, standard pink, uh, then pink and white to do the tongue. There you have it. Ninja Turtles. Happy birthday to Josh Josh. Seville Show signing out.